is up you guys, Sunspot Reviews here with a brand new review, and this time I'm giving you guys the Comic Con 2014 convention exclusive Gentle Giant Rocket Raccoon Bust. So as far as the packaging goes, uh, I'd say it's nothing really special, but uh, there's a few cool things I'd like to touch up on. So as you can see on the front of the box, we have a really nice... Um, uh, picture of the actual bust in all its glory. You see him with the gun looking all menacing and cute at the same time. Corner of the box where it says Gentle Giant LTD. Other corner 2014 convention exclusive because we have to remember there are only 800 of these made. Um, on the side of the box, well, on the side of the front of the box says Mini Bus. Bottom it says Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Rocket Raccoon, and a bunch of shit here that no one really cares about. Sides of the box is that same picture only taken from the side. You can see the bus is right here. It says Mini Bus here, Guardians of the Galaxy at the top, Gentle Giant, Rocket Raccoon, etc., etc. And um, on the other side, we have another picture of him, this time from the front, just as we have here. And it has all those same logos and stuff like that. Back of the box has yet another picture of the bus with it saying Rocket Raccoon, a Guardians of the Galaxy 1-6 scale mini bust. Um, up here it has a cool kind of art style of all the, um, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Guardians. It says Guardians of the Galaxy right over here. And right here it's a description of Rocket Raccoon and all his abilities and stuff. I'm trying to get it to focus. So you can pause that if you care to even read it. When opened, we are confronted with this foam piece of, um, of casing that where the Rocket Raccoon bus will be inside. You can see here it says Gentle, Gentle Giant LTD, a logo here, and this and that. And then once opened, well, you see there's nothing inside. I would just spoil it, but that's where Mr. Raccoon would be. And again, we must note that there are only 800 of these uh, made in the world by Gentle Giant. And for a price of 70 bucks at Comic-Con, let's see if Gentle Giant did a good job. And here we have the Gentle Giant Rocket Raccoon Mini Bus Comic-Con 2014 exclusive out of its packaging and looking absolutely adorable and beautiful at the same time. Now, I'm very, very impressed with this bus, and I do have my fair collection of bus, and I know this is a good one, but it does have its flaws. So starting off with the head, I believe this head sculpt is completely accurate. See, I'm using a little screwdriver tool that came with a Hot Toys figure to just point out all the little details and decals that Gentle Giant put in this figure. Now, one big heap I have about the bust is the fur and the way it's sculpted. Now, don't get me wrong, the fur is sculpted on very beautifully, but I don't think it's accurate, honestly. Um... I don't know, because comparing it to the movie and to other figures we got, I felt that the fur would have been more flattened. Because as you can see, um, a large majority of the fur was sculpted to be higher than others. And from a distance, it looks absolutely phenomenal. But at close range, when you're looking at it with the naked eye and everything... Naked eye? What am I using? A freaking microscope? Anyway, it really kind of looks dull but again this guy's gonna be on top of my shelf and I won't really notice that but besides the point as you can see the teeth are sculpted on beautifully they got all the cracks and everything in there same going with the nose has a nice solid black paint to it with some pores in there it's kind of hard to see on camera um, the snout the color of the snout they kind of messed up on personally as you can see it's like this brownish like tone to it as long uh, along with the white which shouldn't really be there honestly you know um they kind of messed up the sculpt here and the paint decals and everything but again from a far away distance it doesn't really matter the eyes is another problem i have with as you, as you can see the eyes are pitch black there's no pupils or anything which for a real raccoon would be okay, but comparing it to the movie, he had more of a humanoid type of uh, look to him. But um doesn't really bother me that much, you know. I'm um, just giving you a 360 of it. At the back of the head, I actually like how the uh, hairs are sculpted um, compared to the front of the head. Because, um I don't know, it, again, I'm comparing this to the movie and how it looked in the movie. So, you know, don't judge here. 
Um, going back to the front, I want to show you the ears, the little cute little ears. Um, if you look inside, and I'm sorry the lighting is kind of poopy, but if you look inside, there's not really anything impressive. They didn't really sculpt anything. If you really look inside there, they didn't even care to paint it, um, which, again, it kind of blows. Um, so if we're moving on, we're going to start with the his little suit thing he has on here, which I think is very, very um, beautiful and accurate. As you can see, it has this little orb type of light thing at the back. It has a nice, like, um, ocean blue type of paint with the gold and the little screws inside painted on. Uh, the mold is really, really nice. I really like what they did with it. As you can see, his little yellow jumpsuit is um, showing through these... Um, little, uh, not holes, but indents, whatever you want to call them, and, uh, it's kind of, they, uh, kind of put some black paint on it to make it look dirty, because the actual jumpsuit is orange, but I'm trying to get it in on camera, see, they kind of made it a little dirty there, and, you know, it's same goes for this part, only, um, less influenced here, um, I really like the uh, the brownish blackish pieces of armor he has on. I think they're really beautiful. Same goes on the top, his little shoulder straps. I think those are really, really, really nice. Um, and I really like the the detail they put in at the neck area. All these different just just pieces of of um, machinery. I guess I don't really know what he's wearing, but whatever it is, they really really know what they were doing I mean it's really great and if you're going to the front you see um, it shows more of his uh, his jumpsuit right over here I'm gonna try to make the lighting a little better here there we go as you can see it's really nice sculpting I really like what they did with it these little brown straps here although not as painted as good as let's say up here but good enough you know I, I, I still like it and also what I enjoy is his hands. They're so cute. <laughs> now, the big deal I have with his hands is not the sculpting. It's, it's again, it's with the paint. Um, it's a complete solid white. There's not really any fur or anything. It's just, it's a bland, I think. I'm going to fix the lighting if you don't mind. And uh, same goes with this one. You can't really see it as well since he's using it to um, uh, pull the trigger of the gun. But this one is definitely exposed. And it kind of bothers me when looking at it close up. But the highlight... Um, well, not a highlight. I mean, the freaking raccoon is a highlight. But a big part of the figure is the gun. And it is the most detailed out of this. Um, starting from the back, it has a really nice sculpting, and I really like the, the dark goldish paint they put here, that it really goes along well with the silver and the, um, gun metal. I think it really looks great. If you're looking at it really closely, the amount of detail is just great, you know. Um, I want to give you a good view of the, let's see... There's a lot of detail in here. I can't, I can't tell if this is articulate. No, it's not articulate. I thought this... I'm trying to get it focused. I'm sorry. Um, I wish this little part could move because I, I remember the movie. I, I couldn't remember if there was a laser pointing out or something. But um, either way, it looks great. Um, you see, they have this certain type of paint. Like, on the camera, you'd think of this part here and this part here and same above and stuff were gold, right? But in person, it's more of a light pink with some white in there, and it's really, really pretty. I really like what they did with that. Um, moving further, we have it's what it lays on, you know? It's obviously connected to it. You can't remove it, but it's just a plain stand, you know? It's got um, the padding at the bottom, so it could... Um, stand on a shelf without falling off or sliding. Here it says, Gentle Giant LTD 2014 Convention Exclusive Rocket Raccoon Minibus Limited Edition number 87 out of 800. Now, that is phenomenal. Okay, that's under 100. So, I'm really happy I got um, number 87, you know. Um, 
and the lower the number is, the more um, it's worth. So I bet this guy's worth a decent amount on the internet if it's under number 100. Um, below that says Marvel, Marvel.com, etc., etc., and stuff like that. One thing I forgot to mention in my review is the tail. Um, you know, nothing too special going on here. You know, it's got that same fur type of sculpts with the um, the black paint stripes along the tail. It's very faded, so it's kind of hard to see on camera, even from a distance. So from a distance, it would just be a solid brown color. So all in all, I think this mini bust is absolutely phenomenal. The only uh, big deal I have with it is the paint apps and everything uh, like that. But again, from a distance and this will be standing uh, atop my shelf, it wouldn't really bother me. I wouldn't really see it, you know? It would just, it just looks like a raccoon. It just looks like a raccoon on top of my shelf. And that's exactly what I wanted when I paid 70 bucks for this figure. You know, I just wanted a mini bust of a really cool character from a really cool movie. And that's what I got. So, please like, subscribe, and comment. Commenting would really help me out, guys. Um, if you want me to review anything that you saw in my museum tour, please let me know. So, this was Sunspot Reviews with my review of the Gentle Giant 2014 convention-exclusive mini bust of Rocket Raccoon. Thanks for watching.